Para desce. Do you know density of water? One, right? Density of water is one. After learning about transport phenomena, you should know viscosity of water as well. If you consider a unit of viscosity, according to that equation, to the Newton law, tau yx equal to minus mu dvx by dy. So the unit of tau is supposed to be Newton per square meter. Unit of velocity here is meter per second divided by y, which is meter. So in order to get the unit balance, the viscosity is supposed to have unit of kilogram per meter per second square. This is unit of um, viscosity. If you somehow generalize this form of unit, you get Pascal second. All right? This is in SI system. If you change from SI system to CGS system, do you know CGS system? Yes? So in C CGS system, force is represented by what? What, it, what is the unit of force in CGS system? No, dyne. I'm sure that some, someone in here has never heard of dyne before. Okay. The length in CGS unit is centimeter. CGS stands for centimeter gram seconds. Okay? The unit of viscosity would be gram per centimeter second, and then velocity is centimeter per second, and Y would have centimeter. So the unit of Viscosity in CGS is called gram per centimeter second. This sometimes called poise. All right. And viscosity of water is approximately equal to one centipoise, that means 10 to the minus 2 points. And this value here, you should be able to remember. Okay? For air, viscosity is approximately 0.1 centipoise. Oh, I'm sorry, 0 0.01. So it's 100 times smaller. Viscosity is not a constant by itself. Let's say if you have honey, if you heat it up, it will flow easier. So viscosity is a function of temperature. Also, when you have air and you somehow compress air, compressed air flow harder. So viscosity is inverse function of pressure. All right? So it's function of temperature and pressure. You can read this part in chapter 1.4. I'm not going through the detail anymore. Viscosity can be calculated from mixture as well. Please look it up in the textbook, okay? But there's something that I like to emphasize. Sometimes people like to express viscosity in terms of viscosity per density, 
okay this is called new or kinematic viscosity All right. If the viscosity is constant at some certain temperature, when you plot between tau and velocity or and dv x by dy, you should get a linear right the linear there means the viscosity is constant any fluid with constant viscosity is called newtonian fluid okay for newtonian fluid viscosity is constant If viscosity is not constant at particular one, one particular temperature, this is considered at constant temperature. Okay? For one particular temperature, if viscosity is constant, it's called Newtonian fluid. But there are fluids that its viscosity can be changed at even, even though you keep the same temperature. For example, ketchup. Do you know ketchup? Have you tried pouring ketchup from bottle? It's hard, right? And in order to pour uh, ketchup from the bottle, you need to shake real hard. Once you shake hard, it's just going splat. Everything go out at the same time. That kind of fluid the viscosity is a function of force applied. If you apply great force, viscosity will be small, and therefore it can flow easier. That's why when you shake real hard, it can flow easier. That kind of fluid is called non-Newtonian fluid. Okay? In this course, we will consider Newtonian fluid only. For Newtonian fluid, Newton law is applied. 